Okay, this video is just for the Photoshop section. I'll be trying to go into a little more detail of adding the image to this product in Daz. But I'm just going to show you the Photoshop section of it. So there's a little more detail. And probably I'll show you a little bit about the, uh, the support folder where the database file was stored on my computer as well. So I'm going to add an image to the action curl again. I did another video prior showing you a longer video about adding the image, and I'm just going to go into the Photoshop part. So I have this image here in Photoshop that I want to add to that product right here in Daz. So what you have to be concerned with is the thumbnail size has to be 114 by 148. This way, it fits exactly inside the thumbnail menu inside that. So I have an ask a fixed ratio, so I can crop any size image to have that 114 by 148. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select it with the marquee tool, go to image, crop it. Now I got a crop size that I want. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to reduce the size to the thumbnail size that Dad uses, which is the 114 by 148. So I'm going to shrink this down to 114. And as you can see, it already has the 148. You could keep it, you could make it bigger, like 200, and you get a bigger thumbnail review. But uh, I prefer to keep it at 114 to save file space because when you download, when you get a whole lot of uh, products, you tend to uh, fill up space really quick. So as you can see, it's shrunk down to the thumbnail size it's used in DAS. Now we're going to go into File, Go for Web, and inside here, we're going to have to name the image inside the, the support folder the same name as the database file. So I'm going to show you that right now. This is the trick that I use. Click Save. As you can see, I'm already in the support folder, and my support folder is in my project folders where I keep a lot of 3D model projects. Uh, that's just something that was set up for like my documents or whatever. I'll show you that in Windows in a second. So right now, none of these files are the one I want to save it at because this is the action go for Genesis 3 female. So I'm not looking to save it as any of those names. So what I do is I put an asterisk and press enter. And then you can see the top right here, this is the last product I installed in DAS that shows up in the database folder. Uh, if you look at the other video that I had, it'll show you how they create these, these two files here. And these two files is what you want to use the name for to name your JPEG image. So I click Save. But this is incorrect. As you see, it has a DSX ending, and that's not what you want as an extension. So you want to cancel that and then go to Save again. And now the name shows up with the JPEG extension. Now, if I click Save into the support folder, which is my personal folder, it should start show up in it should show up in the DAS content menu directory. Let's go back to DAS, and we go to the missing icon product, and we go to Update Metadata, and click Update. And there it is. Oops, went down. There it is. Action Girl. And that preview image right here that's showing up, if I set it to 200, this image would be much bigger. So if you want it to be bigger, you could, also, you could always save it as a bigger file. So it take up more space, but you get, you get a better, bigger preview. So now I want to show you the directory where when I do the edit metadata and I save the metadata information, where it usually saves, I have two directories that does it. One is the actual DAS program and one is the actual personal, personal folder, which is like my documents or something. But I move my, my work in projects inside projects. I have 3D, model, 3D models, 
I have a version of Daz inside here, which I don't know why they did that, did it that way, but it doesn't really matter. But this is where I go to get mines. And then you see the runtime. And this side here, when I create the metadata file, created these two files here. And in Photoshop, I had to create this file with the same name as these in order for it to show up. So as you can see, I did a whole lot of other files with Renderosity and a bunch of other companies. And I had to edit it and put the picture in there. So if I, if I wanted to, I could take all these files, copy them. Oops, keep going. Oh, that's so much. I don't want to just click all. Copy them. And I go back to my computer. And this is my actual DAS program. This is my actual DAS program folder. I could take all these files, go into runtime, go into support, and inside support, this is where DAS 3D, when you buy a DAS 3D product and you install it, they actually put it into the program system folder, not your personal folder. So if I copy all those from over there and put it in here, it will still populate inside here. It will just re-update it with the new location. But I'm not gonna do that right now because I'm kind of fine where it is for at the moment. But that's what you have to look for. The runtime support folder is where you keep all the DSX files and DSA files and the JPEGs for each of those files. Because as you can see, one, two, three, that equals one product. One, two, three equals one product. So you have to have an image, a DSX and a DSA in order for the database image to show up inside the uh, smart content folder and in the content library folder as well. So that should be it.